Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. On the last run, we played as the Mantis Cruiser Type B and we managed to defeat the Rebel Flagship so we unlocked the Slug Cruiser Type A. So let's give this one a shot today. We start with two Mantis crew members, not Mantis, Slugs, duh. Slugs can see into the adjacent room so you can see on the ship layout here the pilot can see in the room outside of the pilot's room the uh, slug that is in the engines can see into the weapons room and they have full vision in those rooms and they can also temporarily not temporarily but they can very slightly see the enemies on board the enemy ship we don't need any sensors to see the enemies on board their ship and in fact the ship has no sensors rooms we start with an anti-bio beam, which is a really nice weapon, two power, 16 seconds to charge, but does 60 damage to crew members. This allows us to kill crew members and leave the ship intact, get more scrap out of it. This is very good for the first few sectors of the game because we can really get the ball rolling early on with bonus crew members, bonus weapons, bonus scrap, fuel, what have you. It really is a good weapon to have. We also start with a Breach Bomb Mark I and Dual Lasers. The Dual Lasers are actually probably one of the best one power weapons that you can get in the game. It's one power for two shots. You can't beat that with anything else, in my opinion. It's a very good weapon. Probably going to keep this for the rest of the game unless we get something really, really good. The Breach Bomb, Breach Bomb, uh, you know, the Mark II is better than the Mark I, but this is good or just allowing us to punch through enemy shields, being able to hit with the dual lasers, and also to be able to really disable an enemy's med bay, because when this hits the med bay, it will also uh, cause a breach in the med bay, and they would have to repair that before an enemy could heal in their med bay. So this is really going to just uh, synergize well with the anti-bio beam, allow us to kill crew, is uh, what we're pr pretty much gonna be using the burst. Or not the burst, the breaching bomb for achievements. We're in position while using the slug cruiser. Have vision on every room of the enemy ship without functioning sensors. The only way this works is that if you have a teleporter, you can beam your slugs over to the enemy ship and position them in such a way that they can see all the rooms of the enemy ship. This works really well for small enemy ships. Otherwise, you know, without a teleporter, I don't think you can actually do this achievement. Unless maybe you can hack. You know, I guess we could do it if we have the uh, hacking module. Because I think we could hack the enemy ship's sensors and then see all the rooms on board their ship. But I don't know if that counts. It might just be that you have to teleport your uh, slugs over and have them do it. Home sweet home, jump to 30 nebulas before sector 8. Nebulas suck, but if there's a lot of nebulas in the sector map, we'll gun, gun for it and see if we can't get the achievement. That's basically all we can hope for. Disintegration Ray with the Slug Cruiser kill three enemy crew members with one shot from the anti-bio beam. It's actually pretty easy to do. We should be able to get this no problem, even without really focusing on doing this achievement. That's it. Let's get this run started. Now we do start with three power in our weapon systems. We can have the anti-bio beam plus dual lasers charged immediately, which is nice because we can start focusing on killing enemy crew immediately. If we want to, we can switch to the breaching bomb temporarily to take out an enemy weapon system in case they will hit us with a missile launcher or something. But otherwise, ooh, ooh okay, uh, that's fantastic. We just picked up a flak gun Mark I on the first beacon of this run. That is amazing, amazing luck. Flak gun is amazing at taking down enemy shields. It functions very quickly. And I am very, very glad that we made that jump because flak gun plus dual lasers, we have enough power for both of those. And with the flak gun plus dual laser, we should be able to hit enemy ships very, very hard. Now, they have a beam drone and a missile launcher. The missile launcher is what concerns me, so I am going to... 
I am going to try to use the dual lasers to hit the missile launcher before it has a chance to fire, but it's probably going to, ha going to fire first anyways. So there was nothing we could have done about that. Our shields are offline, which means that I need to get the shields online ASAP because the beam drone is going to wreck us. Anti-bio beam can't do anything because it can't punch through their shields, but get the shields online ASAP, guys. Just going to try to kill their crew if I can. We have no dodge, but we managed to get the shields back online. This might be a really, really bad situation we've got ourselves in here. We have no dodge chance. The fucking missile launcher hit our shields again. God damn it. And we have no oxygen and no med bay. This, this sucks. Screw the bio beam, get the flak gun online. We're just gonna have to hit these guys as hard as we can. We might just die here on this sector, but hopefully not. Holy cow, this has gone horrendously, horrendously. Okay, open the doors to the med bay, get the fire under control. I'll get my crew in there to uh, fix up the O2 system. Shields are back online, get the flat gun out, get the uh, dual lasers out to take off the beam because apparently this beam is gunning for me, this beam drone. O2's back online, get the piloting system back online. We are going to survive this, but we are gonna take a substantial amount of damage. Wow, wow. Was not expecting to get hit quite so hard on the first round of combat, but we got extremely, extremely unlucky, and there's really no other way of putting that. We got hit on our shield system twice with the missiles, and then they had a beam drone which just cut us up. There was not really much I could have done to prevent that, except maybe switch over to the flak gun immediately and not use the anti-bio beam. I was thinking about that too. I was thinking maybe we should take out the missile launcher in the drone system because the missile launcher, we, you know, we can't really block that with our shields at all. I decided not to and I paid the price for it. So maybe I should take a, uh, a chance to be a little bit more defensively minded, use the flak gun when I need to, switch to the, switch to the anti-bio beam when we feel comfortable that we're not gonna take a lot of damage. But nothing we can do about the past. Let's just move forward and see what we can do. I will definitely demand the surrender of their goods. We can kill these guys before they jump away. I think with the with the uh, flat gun dual lasers, they will probably get a shot out on us with the missile launcher, but maybe if we're lucky, we can take it off. We can't. We can't hit their piloting system though. They've got a crew member on board my ship, but he's not gonna last too long. We will get hit by one more missile, it looks like. Our shield system is now completely offline, but so is their weapons. So let's deal with their uh, crew member and then get the shields back online. Actually, let's get the shields back online now. I should have probably not opened the doors, but whatever. Turn off the O2 system, let this guy slowly suffocate. And they are not actually going to repair their weapon system, but they are trying to flee, so I think I will just keep shooting at them. Kill them. Get my ship repaired. Maybe try to kind of stem the bleeding a little bit, because we're not in a good position right now. Get the slugs in here to kill this guy. Get the med bay repaired. And we're already half dead. This is like five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, whatever, into this run, and we are already almost dead. I, you know, I had such high hopes when we got the flak gun on the first beacon, but now I'm just thinking, wow, we are maybe screwed. Let's not be too down about it, though. Maybe we can get this working, though, and actually have a good run here. Another missile launcher. We have no missile defense except for a 20% dodge chance, which is not very good. If I'm lucky, I can get a shot in before they shoot the missile launcher, but nope. And they hit the shields again. What is the deal with these assholes going after my shield system? It's actually a very good surrender offer. Five fuel, eight missiles, so I'm going to accept it. Get the shields back online. Oh, god damn. We're just getting, we're just getting wrecked. There's no other way around it. We're getting wrecked. We're already at 
less than half health. 44 scrap is not very much. I will get the second level med bay because I always get the second level med bay. Maybe I should have saved it for weapon power or shield power or something because we obviously... Oh my god, another missile launcher! What the heck is going on with this game today? It does not want me to win. Well, I gotta fire everything I have because we gotta get the shields offline. Their missile missed though. Who did I have to kill for that to happen? It will get another shot off the missile launcher, but if I'm lucky... Oh, it missed again. I am very lucky. Now, the Mantises are going to have a slow time at repairing the weapon systems. We only got hit for one. They're trying to escape. They have no shields. I think I might be able to kill them with the anti-bio beam. They have no shields. I think I can just kind of hit them twice with the anti-bio beam here and kill both of the crew members before they can repair anything. With the breaching bomb, I can destroy their med bay if they go in there to try to heal. Yep, they are trying to move around to heal. I drop one breach bomb in the med bay. They both went into the med bay and they both died. So, we got 17 scrap from that encounter, not bad. Someone is wounded, let's get Nellis into the med bay really quickly, no reason not to. We need all the advantages we can get in this run, apparently. So let's give ourselves the best chance possible by getting everybody healed up. I will defend the outpost. They do have one laser plus a drone. And it looks like their only drones are purely defensive, which is excellent! Thank God, it means we can actually use the anti-bio beam here and take down the enemy. I do need to have the uh, dual, dual lasers online though, because the anti-bio beam can't kill them on its own. Can't pierce through the shields anyways. So what I'm thinking is we dual shot the med bay and then anti-bio beam the crew. Something like this. He's gonna walk towards the med bay, so I think I can hit him with the anti-bio beam if I kinda scrape it along the ship like this. Yep, we hit him. Uh, he is going to repair the medbay, but the guy in the engines room is not getting healed up, so I'm uh, now he is. So maybe I can, maybe I can't actually kill the crew. Maybe they're going to, going to heal faster than I can uh, hit them with the anti-bio beam, and it indeed looks like that's the case. Yep, now they're just going to get healed because we missed one of the shots, and... I don't think there's any way we can kill the crew unless I had more weapon power. So I might just have to kind of go ham on them with the flak gun dual lasers. They're not trying to escape or anything, so we have time. But if I can get some good shots in, disable a whole bunch of their systems, maybe I can have a chance at this. Took down the O2 system. Did take down the med bay. So let's see if we can't kill them now. They're only going to have one person repairing the med bay, so maybe a dual shot can wound the med bay enough to take it offline, anti-bio beam them. Nah, they're gonna they're gonna repair way too quickly. Oh, they have a repair drone. That's why they're getting the repairs done so quickly. They have a freaking repair drone. Yeah. Okay, so we, we gotta kill them. We can't actually kill the crew. Which is a shame. If I had one more bit of weapon power, I think I could do it by using the breach bomb as well. Yeah, they just activated another uh, repair drone, I think. That's what the sound was. That's all right, though. We're not going to be able to kill the crew on every ship. Heck, we might not even be able to survive the next sector for too much longer. But at the very least, we can kill these guys. We get 12 scrap, 3 fuel, another 3 fuel, and 16 scrap. Pretty nice. Now, I could bring another weapon online, or I could get another bar of shields. And considering... The amount of damage we've been taking, I kind of feel like getting another bar of shields is the way to go. So I am going to do that. I am going to go to the, to the Nebula Beacon now because I do want to get the achievement, if I can. Ooh, uh, I do have to have sh some shields online, so we got to put the uh, shield power up. Dual lasers, if it can take out their missile launcher, then I can kill these guys no problem. They are going to get one shot off. Come on, dual lasers. Our shields did get hit, but since I did upgrade the shield system, their drone can't actually kill me. 
which is nice. So, dual lasers are going to very slowly take out the sh this uh, auto assault ship. Their shields are now wounded. I can get my crew members in here to repair the shield system. We do have, also of note, is a automated slug hull repair gel thing. I can't actually check to see what it's called, but the breach that was in our shield room has now been repaired because we started with an augment that uh, repairs breaches in our ship whenever they occur. I don't need to send crew in to get it repaired. It's very nice. It means that our crew can focus on their tasks and not worry about getting killed by low oxygen, you know? Piloting system is now destroyed on this auto assault ship means that we have a 0% chance of missing our shots, aka 100% chance to hit. So the missile launcher, even though it went back online, is now offline once again, and we will not take any more damage. Only getting hit for one on this fight I think is good. We could have gotten screwed if I did not get the second level of shields upgraded, so I'm very glad I spent the scrap to do that when I had the chance. Keep the shields online when we jump to the next beacon. And I think if I go to the exit, then I can go up to the distress, down through the, through the quest, hit up the exit beacon at the end, and even if it is a rebel ship, there will not be an ASB. So this is another plasma storm. They have a combat drone plus a beam weapon. That actually kind of sucks, and the reason why it sucks is that I can't put two power in the shield system because I don't have two power to put into the shield system. So we will get hit by the beam pretty much. There's not really much we can do to prevent that. Um, I guess we go dual lasers. Yeah, I guess we go dual lasers, one bar of engines. We hope we can take down their drone system ASAP. If we can take down their drones, then I don't need to have the... Uh, or. If we take down the drones, then the drone will not be able to take down our shields, pretty much. Ignore the bleep bloop of steam. Hopefully it doesn't repeat itself. If it does, I'll have to alt-tab and, and mute it. Uh, but this is going to be a very difficult fight, and in fact, we might just want to leave. Because their ship is really good for taking down our ship. Did take down their beam before they had a chance of firing it once again. Let's get the O2 system powered so that we're not completely screwed here. And in fact, let's get someone into the shield system and the weapon system, because firing quickly is what's going to save us here. I wish I had more power to... Actually, I can bring online the breaching bomb, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Just waiting to fire until they get the uh, weapon system repaired one more time, but let's not wait. With the breach bomb and the dual lasers, I can keep their drone offline, which is good. Good. Okay, we're making progress. Dual lasers on the drone system. Keep it offline. It's now permanently offline. Let's switch over to the flak gun. No, we have to keep the shields online, unfortunately. So the breach, the breach bomb has to stay online. Breach bomb the... Let's just wait. Breach bomb the shields. It missed, so let's take a shot at the shield system. We missed. Uh, basically, I'm trying to... Trying to keep their drones offline. Hit their crew a little bit, wound them. They are trying to heal up, they're trying to escape as well, so we... Need to power up the oxygen system. They have no power in their... Uh, weapons because they move the power into the the med bay to get their crew members healed So I do have an opportunity to really quickly Put another breach bomb in their weapon system to keep it offline while I get my crew members healed I let my uh, my o2 get way too low and that was just an accident on my part mistake Keep their ships uh, wounded so that they have to spend time repairing their FTL is currently delayed Keep sending in a couple of shots here and there Hit their shields. Good. As long as they don't repair the uh, the drone system, I'm happy. Because the drone system is going to be the biggest pain in the ass to deal with. Keep their engines now destroyed. They do have the beam back on the line. But one more shot will kill them. And I can get my shields back on the line. Good, good, good. So we did take a little bit of damage in that fight. Almost got one of my crew members killed stupidly. But we managed to make it out. 
And this is the problem with going to nebulas without something like long range scanners, power. Power is a big problem. And in fact, in our situation, uh, we just don't have much power at all. You know, I, I just purchased the shield upgrade, but I don't have the power to really run the shields. Now I do. Maybe even having that one bar of power would have been enough that I could have, you know, another weapon online. We could have prevented ourselves from taking so much damage. But, you know, what's done is done. Let's continue on. Go to the Distress Beacon. If it's combat, it's combat, you know? We will promise to help. We will fire on their defense system. And we managed to get a defense drone, which is actually very good to pick up. Missiles have been wrecking me lately. And being able to pick up a drone control system is now probably my top priority. We can't pick it up from the store because we don't have the scrap. Unless I sell some stuff. Burst lasers, you know, Mark III would be pretty nice, but way too expensive. The Ion Blast is a good one power weapon, but we have weapons. We have the flak gun that we picked up, and I really want to be able to use the flak gun if I can. So what I think I'm going to do actually is probably sell the hull, the uh, slug repair gel. All this does is it repel, uh, repairs hull breaches. I can worry about hull breaches on my own. So let's sell it. Let's heal up a bit because we're dumb and we've been taking a lot of damage. Keep the defense drone so that we can use it later and let's get one more bar of... One more bar of what? Probably weapons. So let's, let's save the money, get one more bar of weapons so we can have the flak gun plus breach plus dual lasers online when we need it. This is actually a perfectly fine encounter. I don't mind this. And in fact, we can kill the enemy crew here. No problem. Uh, because they have two lasers, and that's it. I have two bars of shields. I can permanently block their weapon systems forever, basically. So let's get... Let's get our crew members, hopefully, uh, dodging sh some shots. Every missed shot is one more XP for the piloting and the engine system. And I would like to... Uh, get those systems, or get those crew members uh, leveled up as much as possible. If I wanted to, I could just wait here for like 10 minutes, come back to the recording and have a, a fully leveled out crew, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to use the anti-bio beam and do damage to their crew. Now, it does take two shots to kill one crew member, but I've got all the time in the world. If I didn't have all the time in the world, I would probably go ham on their weapon system, take it down ASAP. All we need is the one laser shot, and there we go, two crew members dead, one crew member at the piloting system, but he's not going to uh, move from the system at all, he's just going to stay there piloting, repairing the piloting system when I attack it. He should be dead in one anti-bio beam hit. Well, one anti-bio anti beam hit if both of the dual lasers hit next, because dual lasers, I think, do like 15 points of damage when they hit a crew member. So, there we go. The 60 damage plus the 15 from landing, plus like maybe a fire or something, he's dead. We get 14 scrap and 3 fuel, which is pretty decent. And we do have to fight the rebels at the exit, which honestly was kind of expected. It's, you know, I'm fine with that. I will get one more bar of weapons so that I can hopefully take out the enemy ship ASAP because we don't need to necessarily flee from them. They do have a pretty nasty ship, but we do have a nasty ship ourselves now. Breaching bomb, dual lasers, flak gun. I can move power from the O2 system into the engine system to get the uh, engines powered up so we can dodge shots. Breaching Bomb can go on the piloting system, bring down their defense, or their uh, dodge chance, which is now zero. So now I can fire everything I have on their weapons. And now they only have a dual shot laser, which is going to be pretty easy to deal with. They also have a fire on board their ship, which kind of tells me that maybe I should actually just kind of go ham on, on the other systems. Keep them from repairing the piloting system, so they have a, do a dodge chance of zero. Doing a lot of damage, that's very nice. We don't need the breaching bomb anymore, so let's get the O2 system powered up. Because now I can go out, I can go all out on their shields, 
and we are only going to get one fuel from this fight because you only ever get one fuel from uh, fighting the rebel ships when you have to uh, double back on yourself like this, but it's still all right. One fuel is one fuel, and uh, we are not going to take any damage from this encounter, so I think it's perfectly worth it. We did the quest. You know, we're at uh, two-thirds health. Not bad. We could actually uh, go to another beacon and then go back to the exit. You know what? Let's do that. I've never actually done this specific thing before, but let's try it. Pulsar. Pulsar sucks. Defense Drone Mark II sucks. Uh, missile Launcher sucks. This ship that we are fighting sucks. Uh, hopefully we can actually kill them and not get killed ourselves. They have a Rockman, a Human, and a Mantis. But you know what? They only have a single shot laser, so I don't need my shields powered up to level 2. I will go all out on their weapons, I think, first. We did take all of their weapons offline. We got hit for a little bit of damage, one point, but that's okay. We still have the shields that are able to be powered. They are putting out a fire in the weapon system. I might even be able to use the anti-bio beam, but I want to take down their uh, their ship ASAP. Because specifically we are in a, uh, a uh, pulsar, and the pulsar sucks. I want to get out of here as soon as I can. Now their systems did get hit with a pulse, so their shields and their weapon systems are still offline. Let's hit their shields and keep them offline. Oh, and we get an augment, reverse ion field, eight missiles, 22 scrap. That is a perfectly acceptable surrender offer. The, now we just gotta wait for uh, our FTL drive to charge. The reverse ion field, it means that whenever we get hit by an ion weapon, there's a 50% chance that it won't do jack. And it stacks. And look, resist. We resisted the Ion Pulse because we had a 50% chance of doing just that. It's a really good piece of equipment to get. If you can get two of them, you're 100% immune to Ion damage whatsoever. Do we have to fight another Rebel ship? We do. It's literally the same ship we just fought. We did manage to flawless the last ship that we fought in this beacon, so let's see if we can't do the same thing here. I think we can because their weapons are going to take a little while to charge and they're not going to shoot them at the same time. So we breach bomb the piloting system, we go ham on their weapon system, and seems like it's going pretty good so far. Get the O2 system powered up since we don't need to dodge anything right now. Breach bomb the shields, then we can flak and dual laser the shields to keep their shields offline. And now they're going into... Uh, Put out some fires, it looks like. Good. We don't need to use the breaching bombs anymore, so let's get the uh, FTL drive charged. Let's hit the guy in the med bay, keep their med bay offline. Ah, this is good. I could use the anti-bio beam, and in fact, I might be able to get one of the achievements by hitting them with the anti-bio beam once. Let's see if we can't get that to work. A perfectly placed anti-bio beam might be able to kill all three of the crew members. I have to get it out really quickly. Let's hit the guy in the med bay with the dual lasers. No, unfortunately I can't. I can't curve the uh, the beam to hit all three of them, which sucks, but you know. It was a good attempt. Actually, this guy also had way too much health. Good attempt, didn't work out, but we're gonna kill them, get one more fuel out of it. And jump to the next sector. Now there are actually a lot of nebulas. Makes me think that maybe we can get the achievement for visiting 30 nebula beacons. I can go up or down. If I go down, I have to go to one green sector. If I go up, I have to go to one green sector. Down gives me rock, up gives me mantis. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we go to the mantis sector because I don't want to deal with missiles and rock ships tend to have lots of missiles and cloaks. Mantis, Mantis ships also tend to have uh, missiles, but they have teleporters, and I can deal with invaders pretty easily. You know, invaders are really not that much of a problem once you kind of understand. Get them into the med bay and fight them in the med bay. But like this ship, they have one beam, and they're invading me, and that's it. This is going to be an easy encounter. 
I might even might even be able to kill them using only the anti bio beam. So why not give it a, an attempt? You know, much better than the rock ships, the rock sectors. So I think this is what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to wait until I gotta swap my guys around. I'm going to wait until the mantis beams back, and then anti bio beam him in the med bay. If he lives that long, he died. So I don't have to worry about it. But my my idea was. Wait until he's in the med bay, hit him with the anti-bio beam, and kill him. Gotta shoot the anti-bio beam, try to imagine where this guy is going to walk, and try to shoot it so that the anti-bio beam will hit him as he moves. I think we did hit him. Both mantises, I don't think they're, they're excuse me, I don't think they will be able to uh, repair the med bay before I can get off another anti-bio beam shot. And even if he does, I can just shoot the dual lasers in again. And if they both hit the med bay, then the med bay is gonna be offline. The mantises are dead. We get 20 scrap, not bad. And if we can just keep this up, do this repeatedly on every mantis encounter, we're gonna do just fine on this sector. Dealing with borders is not a problem. Unfortunately, there was nothing at that jump, but I didn't know that. Well, there wasn't a distress beacon or something, so it could have been nothing, but whatever. Now, uh, dual lasers and flat cannon will be able to take down the weapons of this auto scout, but I'm hoping that the asteroids will do it for me, and that's exactly how that worked out. Easy encounter. I got kind of lucky that they didn't have shields or a cloak or something because their weapons were kind of kind of scary, but it worked out. Just waiting for the FTL drive to charge. I guess I could power it up a little bit more with power from the O2 system and then put it back. Let's keep jumping up and around. Try to stay ahead of the rebels this time and not get caught out by them. Unfortunately, there's also nothing at this beacon, which is unfortunate. Any beacon where there's just nothing is just a wasted jump. I will definitely aid the civilian ship. They have a three-shot laser plus an ion, which it kind of sucks, honestly. Sucks for me, uh, but I can shoot them before they shoot me. Flat cannon and dual lasers have a much quicker charge time than the burst laser Mark II does. So I think I can get some shots in before they get shots in on their laser, and it exactly worked out. I did move my Mantis into the weapon room to hopefully get the weapons charged faster, and that is what happened there. Now let's see if we can't get the uh, anti-bio beam charged and actually kill the crew. It's going to take quite a few shots. These are these are uh, rock people. They have a lot of HP. They have 150 HP, so it's going to take three shots from an anti-bio beam to kill one of them. But I think we can do it. Kind of just focus fire on the weapon system. Hit him with the anti-bio beam. I could also use a breach bomb. But we're fine right now. We, you know, if we do some extra damage to the hull, that's fine. Hopefully this guy has very low HP. We've been hitting him with the lasers a few times, so he should be almost dead. And they are both dead. Perfect. We get a new crew member. Excellent. You are going to go on the, probably the shield system. It would be nice if the weapons charged faster, but getting the shields recharged faster once we get hit by a weapon might save us damage in the long term. Hey, at least it's not just us being boarded at this beacon. There is a sun, we will have to deal with it. Ah, uh, what do I use? Flak gun? Yeah, we're gonna use the flak gun. I wanna kill these guys as soon as I can because I don't like being here at this sun. We are going to take damage basically from it. We'll open doors on the ship. Try to get the O2 lowered so that this mantis will uh, take damage and decide to not attack us, ideally. We did get hit in the piloting system, which is unfortunate. It's going to make it take a lot longer for us to get our FTL drive charged, but there's not much we can do about that now, is there? I can get some power into the uh, 
engine system, but until we get the piloting system repaired, we're not actually going to be charging the FTL drive at all. They do have an NG repairing the shields. I might actually be able to kill the crew, but they also have the clone bay, which is going to be annoying to deal with. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let's kill the crew. Let's see if we can do it. Mantis is kind of screwed. I can get the O2 system powered up right now, though, because we do have him locked into the med bay. And actually, with him being locked in the med bay, I should just send someone in there and fight him, now that I think about it. We don't need to have the shields powered up, so I can put power into the med bay. Dual lasers, the clone bay. I will save that for just a moment when... Uh, when the NG, or when the Mantis is dead, I should say. So they teleported him back, which is an interesting move, because it wasn't really necessary. They do have a fire on board their ship, so I'm gonna wait just a second to fire off the dual lasers. Fire the anti-bio beam, kill the crew. They might come back to life, but I think I can sneak in a dual laser shot and kill the crew before they uh, that actually happens. Now, we do have a fire aboard the ship somewhere, because we always have a fire aboard the ship when the uh, solar flare goes off. And there it is. Now, the Mantis is dead from the clone bay being offline, and I think I can sneak in a shot to kill the NG in just a second. And he is dead. We did get a missile shot at us. Unfortunately, the crew was dead. Dodge chance is as high as it's ever going to get, and we missed. Well, they hit us. There's another fire, unfortunately. We didn't take any hull damage from fires, which is, uh, you know, usually you expect to take damage when the solar flare hits, but I'm kind of, I guess I'm lucky that we didn't. Let's get everybody healed up really quickly. We are ready to jump out of here, so let's get everyone healed up. Make sure we have oxygen aboard the ship. Good. Jump to the distress beacon and we'll see what's here. If it's combat. I'm happy. Hey, it's combat. I'm not actually very happy about it because they are going to hack us and they have a missile launcher. But because I have a missile launcher, I don't really need shields powered up all that much. So we're going to get the breach bomb, the dual lasers, the anti-bio beam, and as much power into the engines as possible. Now they are hacking the shields. That's perfect. The ion blast is going to be able to hit us in another room, but honestly, who cares? Uh, Breach Bomb and Dual Lasers are going to go out on their weapon system, though. We did hit once, which is not enough to take their Missile Launcher offline. We did take their Ion offline, which I guess it's something, but we need to take the missiles offline. Unfortunately, the um, NG is going to get in there and get the uh, weapons repaired very quickly, but we did manage to hit them with one Dual Laser shot. I just need to keep shooting them, unfortunately. Maybe if I'm lucky, they'll take their uh, missile offline. Nope. Rockman's gonna have a much harder time actually getting the system repaired. So we will be able to take their uh, their missiles offline now, and they're all dead. Good, so we did take a little bit of damage. It's pretty much just going to happen with this ship until we get some, uh, def some missile defense. So we really need to go to a store at some point soon. Unfortunately, there is no store in the immediate vicinity, so let's get one more bar of power. And I guess that's it. Why one more bar of power so that we can keep more stuff powered up continuously? And let's just keep jumping. Kind of just need to find a store now with all the scrap. I will aid the civilian ship. They do have a missile launcher, but it's got to happen. Let's get the breach bomb online. We have 31 missiles, we might as well use them. They will board us with a mantis, but we have another crew member compared to last time. And they do want to fight us in the med bay. So I'm just gonna send the human up there to deal with the mantis, get the med bay powered up a little bit. We have as much dodge chance as possible, as much shields as we need. Breaching bomb is going to go out on the weapon system. Same with the dual lasers, get the uh, missile launcher offline. It is now offline. We have a fire on board our ship. I think it's in this room. I wasn't really paying attention to where the uh, the missile hit, but I do not hear the fire anymore. So I think we did it correctly there. Now they are sending the Mantis back. 
One dual shot plus an anti-bio beam should kill both of these guys. No, it did not. So I am going to shoot a breach bomb at the weapons to keep the missile launcher offline and the dual laser should hopefully be able to kill the mantis in the clone bay, clone room. And it killed the NG at the same time. Perfect. 17 scrap plus eight scrap, not bad. Still need to find a store at some point. So I might as well pump a little bit of extra power into the engines. Maybe we'll dodge some extra shots and be better off in the future. I kind of just want to beeline the exit, honestly. Uh, yes, I will sell 15 missiles. We do not need as many missiles as we have. And I am going to go to the store. Even if we find and fight the rebels, I need to get something that allows me to have missile defense. Unfortunately, we don't have any missile defense. Ah, da, da, da. So this was pretty much a... Uh, Bad place to be. You know what? I'm going to fix all. Normally, I don't like fixing all, but I have a feeling we're going to be fighting the rebels once we get down to the uh, exit beacon here. So why not repair now so that when we take damage later, it doesn't seem so bad? Could buy a crew member, but we have no way of actually boarding the enemy ship. Battery charger. We don't have a battery backup anyway. I could shoot the breaching bomb through the Zoltan super shield, I guess, but that's kind of not very useful for me. And this sector has, it hasn't been a bust, but I should say the stores have been kind of a bust. Like we have been getting pretty much nothing out of these stores and it's very unfortunate. Should have probably dumped more power into the uh, shield system because we are, we are going to have to fight our way out of this encounter. I'm going to, to uh, dump as much power into the shields as possible. He's going to try to go into the shield room and attack it. I'm just going to open the doors. Uh, and we need to take out their weapon system ASAP. I'm going to do that by breach bombing the piloting room, hopefully reduce their dodge chance. If it lands, it missed. So we're just gonna flak dual laser their weapons. We did take the missile launcher offline. That's what I wanted offline. Now the only thing that they can you're trying to attack me? Get in there. Now the only thing they can do is hit me with a um, couple of uh, lasers which we can absorb thanks to our shields. ASB is going to go off, nothing we can do about it. We did breach bomb the piloting system, they have zero dodge chance, so I can hit with all my shots now. And that should be a nice little bit of damage on them. Uh, let's, since the uh, laser's offline, let's get power into the med bay. So I can get my guy healed up and take out this crew member who is attacking my weapon system. Now we can get power into the oxygen. One more flak dual laser. And we should now be able to escape. I could go to one more beacon. This was not a bad encounter. Hold on. Why don't we do it? This is weird. This is a weird decision. I'm going to go to one more beacon and then come back to this beacon. Oh, this was such the wrong move. Holy cow, this is awful. I don't need the weapons online, so let's get the shields online. Let's kill this guy ASAP. They're fighting me in the med bay, which is fine. I need to get someone into the uh, room here to repair this breach. Uh, you know what, let's repair the breach later. So this was a, a wrong move. There's absolutely no benefit to coming here, we're just gonna take more damage. It was a risk, I took it. If I had long range scanners, I could have known that there was just gonna be a sun here and I could have avoided it, but obviously that didn't happen. Olaf, sun, get into the weapons room. We're gonna go back and fight these guys in a second. Hopefully their ship is still wounded. Now their ship is repaired, but their hull integrity is now much lower than it was before. So let's get everything back online that we had before. Yeah, the breach is still there. We're going to have to deal with it. Breach bomb on the piloting system. Flak and dual lasers on the weapon system. Shields are online to level two. Ah, the breach bomb landed this time. We did take their missile offline, which is what I wanted. Good. So we're, we're fine. We will be able to make it out of this encounter, just like we did last time an annoying encounter to be fair but we actually killed the ship so we got one fuel out of it 
So it didn't actually cost us all that much to uh, to go to that one beacon. I do need to get the oxygen powered so that we don't die while we're getting the uh, engines repaired. FTL is not going to charge until we get the engines repaired. We might get hit by one more ASB. FTL does charge faster when there's no enemy ships. There we go. We managed to make it out. Uh, Mantis Homeworlds or NG Homeworlds? NG Homeworlds means drones. Drones are very annoying. NGs are very annoying because they repair so quickly. I think I'd rather go to the Mantis Homeworlds. It's also a red sector and I do like combat even though we're not that you know offensively strong right now. We're taking a lot of damage on encounters. I still like to go to the Mantis Homeworlds when I can. Get in that room you idiot. Get the breach repaired, get everybody healed up. O2 system is online, get the oxygen flowing through the ship by opening the internal doors. Okay. Now what do we need on this sector? We need a store. A-S-A-P. We need to buy missile defense. That's pretty much the biggest thing that we need. The biggest problem on this run so far is missile defense. Ah, this is the disease on the human mining colony, but since we have a medbay level 2, we can just synthesize a cure and get guaranteed payout. That's why I like getting the medbay. It helps you out in blue encounters more than you would think. This is the Mantis Ship Unlock quest, because this is Kazakhplethkalik. Unfortunately, we don't have a um, teleporter, and if we don't have a teleporter, we can't actually get the crew member. Uh, luckily, they actually can't hurt me, I think. So I am just going to use dual laser anti-bio beam and focus fire down the mantis that aborted us. Uh, they can't penetrate my shields. Now they are going to ion stun my shield room, so I am going to remove my crew from the shield room, let them stun their own mantis and then come in here and kill him. So that's pretty easy. Uh, he did die. They do have a clone bay though, so I do have to actually shoot at the clone bay. It's wounded, so he might actually come back to life in a second, but that's fine. I can I can keep firing at the at the uh, clone bay all day. Yeah, he is back to life. They actually have a third level clone bay, which is unexpected. I might want to actually use a, a breach bomb to make this a lot easier, but I might even just be able to make it work as is. Let's keep the uh, human in the uh, weapons room, shall we? They're going to board us again. Easy, easy problem to deal with. Mantis is dead, their clone bay is now completely offline, so let's get the Mantis killed ASAP, because if we kill him, we're done. He is not dead, but I can kill him with a uh, dual laser shot as soon as he stops moving. We missed, so the anti-bio beam is going to finish the job, and we move in to strip their ship. If we had a teleporter, we would have blue options there. We could board the ship, find Kazlath click, help him, bring him back to life. He'll join our crew. That's okay. We got some extra scrap from this fight, and we didn't take any damage to the hull, which is always a good thing. Always makes you feel good. We will demand the surrender of their goods. They will try to escape. We will have to kill them. They have a defense drone Mark I, which is pretty easy to deal with. They do have a beam drone and a burst laser mark II, which is less easy to deal with. So let's get the flak gun, breach, and dual lasers powered up. Breach the piloting room, flak gun, dual lasers, the weapons room I think is what I'm going to do here. The breach is really just to bring their dodge chance down, and it is going to land. And we did manage to take down their bomb weapons, but they do still have a... Um, well, they do still have their burst laser online, so we are going to have to deal with that in a second. Maybe this breach bomb, yes. Breach bomb took down their uh, burst laser. So now there's a breach, he's going to have to spend a minute repairing it. Let's get the dual lasers in and hit their engines, keep them offline, keep their dodge chance zero, keep them not doing anything. Don't think I need to actually use another breach bomb. I could use a anti-bio beam, but... I would have to turn off either the flat gun or the dual lasers, and I don't feel comfortable doing that because I still need to attack these guys, you know? I still need to do damage to them. Let's hit them in the weapons room because he's going to send a guy in there to help repair. 
They hit us with a bomb, but it didn't do any hull damage, so I don't really mind it all that much. It's gonna wait, use the flat gun again. Hit their piloting room this time. They did get their missile launcher, or not the missile launcher, they did, get, they did get the burst laser back online, but they don't have anyone manning the room. So I think I can actually sneak in a shot before they have a chance of firing. Good. They are dead. Nazi needs to get healed up. We also got a free crew member, Mr. Bugga. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Bugga. Nice to meet you. The Mantis is nice because if we end up do getting a teleporter, we can have a uh, Mantis human fighting duo, which is not all that bad. He's also pretty good at weapons, so he is the de facto weapons personnel now. And he is going to help us against invaders. Store, please be missile defense. Just had a little bit of a delay there. Apparently my housemate's glass desk just exploded on him. There's glass everywhere, but not my problem. My problem is what do I buy at this store? Cloaking would give me missile defense, so I'm actually very tempted. But there's also a scrap recovery arm, which is amazing. It's really, really handy for getting a lot of extra scrap over your run. What I could do is buy cloaking and the scrap recovery arm, cell reverse ion field, and the defense drone. I can always buy another defense drone. Cloak would be very nice to get out of the way of missiles. So let's do it. Flat gun dual laser is pretty good at taking out enemy weapon systems. If I dodge a cloak occasionally, or um, I cloak out of a missile occasionally with the, uh, the cloak, then I can eventually get their weapons offline worry about killing them later. Let's do it. Let's do it. Buy the cloak, buy the scrap recovery arm, get some more scrap during this run, during the rest of it anyways, and we'll do some jumping. Do need a little bit of fuel, but hopefully if we kill a bunch of enemy crew on board ships, we'll be able to scrap their fuel. A mantis with the burst laser mark too. Heck, I can dodge out of a lot of lasers coming in, which is very nice. Uh, we do need to take out their weapons though. I will keep my weapons powered as they are. Switch over to the, do I ah, da, da, da. Yeah, let's, let's hit them once really hard on their weapons and then switch over to the anti-bio beam and kill them. They are going to try to board us. So let's try to go all out on their Mantis invader, like right now, push him into the med bay, hopefully. If I can push him into the med bay, then I should be able to uh, kill him more easily. Hit him really hard on their weapons. We actually, our weapons impacted in midair, as, all, as that sounds. So I am going to use a breach bomb on their uh, weapon system really quickly. Get the mantis, the human, and the slug into the med bay and try to take out this invader. Get the med bay powered up and the O2 system powered up. Hit them really hard on their weapons. Their Mantis is now dead. I think because we were cloaked, they couldn't uh, beam him back aboard their ship. No, the teleporter is still ionized. It just hadn't come back online. Either way, he's dead. He's not coming back. Their weapons are also disabled. So let us get the dual laser anti bio beam powered up. And everyone can get back to their rooms. The NG is in the med bay. NG is gonna be a bit of a, oh, let's get the breach bomb powered up. NG might be a bit of a problem because he might get the med bay repaired very quickly. And if he does, it might be hard to kill him. But actually, if they just stand, put, don't move, one more bio beam will kill them. You know, they have le less than half health because I hit them both with the bio beam. And if they're not gonna move, then they are easy pickings. There they go. 31 scrap, two fuel, nice. I don't think we took damage there because I did cloak out of the way of their uh, triple, triple shot laser, so that's nice. Let's go down to the distress beacon. I will give you two fuel. Two fuel is not that much. For one reactor power, that's actually not that bad. 
beacon distress go up or distress go up? Uh, distress go up because we're kind of running out of time and there's plenty of beacons in the direction of the exit that I don't mind doing that now. Um, ooh, 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 I will, I will, I will apologize, wish them luck and move on. I wish I could give them fuel, but I don't have fuel. I will aid the civilian, or yep, I will aid the civilian ship. Uh, this should actually be a relatively easy encounter. The ion weapon that they have is actually a really terrible weapon. So, you know, I should just be able to uh, dual shot their weapon system, take something offline, uh, breach bomb the clone bay, hit them with the anti-bio beam, take them out. The ion weapon, the problem with this ion weapon is that it only does one ion damage. You have to keep it powered up, keep it shooting in order to actually do a lot of damage to it. It really just sucks. They are half dead. The next shots going in are going to go in on the clone bay. Uh, they do have an ion bomb though, and it did hit our weapon system. So our weapons are now completely offline temporarily. We will have to... Uh, dodge our way out of some shots in the near future. This sucks just because it's going to take a while before we kill them, but we're going to kill them. I don't care about the one laser. I care about the ion bomb. Like, that's the big problem here. And it, you know what? I'll hand it to them. This ion weapon that they have is going to be a bit of a problem now. Unless I just cloak out of the way and get my weapons powered. It would have been a problem because it would have done three ion three ion damage now, but I think I can uh, breach bomb, dual lasers, anti-bio beam, and get these guys killed. The weapon's going to take a minute to, to uh, fire, so let's wait. Okay, breach bomb, dual laser, anti-bio beam. At the very least, we can kill the crew, keep their weapons, their uh, only weapon that can damage me offline, breach bomb their clone bay now that they have no crew. They're dead. And we get about uh, 50, uh, 47 scrap thanks to the scrap recovery arm. We have plenty of fuel now. Excellent. 